Hi guys, the tube that it's twisted over here. It looks like this, right? My neck is still open, there's something, I don't know, hanging over here, but I feel the weight of it, so I know there's loads of yarn, but if I wanted to keep it up to keep warm, I don't know. Well, anyway, I may not be a fan of it because of the whole neck. The idea for me having snood or coal, as you call it, or any scarf is to protect your um, throat. So as you see, uh, the same snood and completely different results. You have to go where the middle part is and you stretch. And if you see horizontal yarn, like bridges, that means that you may cut it. Okay, well anyway, I'm going to do that. I always start in the middle or in the area that I know that I actually see the bridges. I can work from the middle to the side because sometimes to the side um, it's so tight that you wouldn't know if you cut it right or not. So let's see how that goes. How did I go? You separate these and you see exactly to make sure that you're not cutting anything. You try to find a ladder. Obviously in this kind of garment they've hidden it because it's completely open. Uh, closed tube. This kind of uh, probably yarn it was kind of fluffy so it's hard it was harder to pull a, a thread but or that yarn but um, if you have anything else try to cut maybe two and try to just uh, pull the two sides um, apart and you will um, see how the thread is kind of disappearing and and that way you don't have to worry about uh, cutting something that you don't want to. So as you see I'm I managed to separate those two things. Leave it the way it is, to be honest. A tube. You see this? So if you're not a knitter and uh, you just want to change something that you have in your closet and you want to kind of revamp, you cut what I did and you know, you would need to probably just pick those things if you did it my way. So I cut each step of the ladder. And I'm getting what I always what I like to get. So when the wind comes over, I have completely protect my throat and it's more fluff into it and you don't feel the weight of it that much. I know it doesn't make sense because it's 200, sorry, 200, 240 gram of each of the thing, but it doesn't kind of sit on my chest. It's kind of spreading up like a chimney, if I can call it that way. So as you see, better, better solution. So if you're not a knitter, um, if you have something similar that you bought in, pennies if you're in Ireland or pre-mark if you're in the UK um, you can kind of maybe risk get something cheap and see if you can something else so if your friend bought the same thing and they're wearing the same thing um, you don't have to kind of copy their style you can do something else with it just a scissors and you have it this is me asking you for help if you came across any project that involved this yarn and this shade. Hashtag me, anything I love.